welcome back to Simple Things Done Right. I'm Harry and today we're having a beer and a chat. And today's beer of choice is a Ronan Bick Grand Cru. It's a award winning beer brewed in Belgium. It's a 6%. It's a blend of young beer and beer that's been matured in oak fondants. The mixed fermentation process produces fantastic aromas of fruit, wood and vanilla. And the fruity acids give a wine-like character. The complexity of Ronan Background Crew brings a feast to the table. So that's the description it gives, but what does it actually taste like? So we'll just crack it open. Smells nice. And there it is, guys. It has got a touch of red to it, but it's quite a dark beer. Nice bit of head. It does have a winey smell to it. See what it tastes like. Hmm. Getting a vanilla taste to it, definitely. It's not one I'd buy again, but it is really interesting. Nice sour note to it. Yeah, that's really nice. So for today's chat, we're talking about a couple of things that's happened over the past week. First one being that um, doctors may be able to prescribe cam cannabis within a couple of weeks in the UK. Dame Sally Jovis has concluded that the current rules on drugs were very difficult to defend because of conclusive evidence of therapeutical benefits. So it could be good for Britain. It could be bad. Depends on how they play this. Because obviously if they legalise cannabis and give it for therapeutical reasons, what stops the selling of cannabis for non therapeutic uses? So it could be a bit give and take there. Who knows? Next up is England won the match against Colombia. It was a very tense match. I watched it myself. Up until I think it was like 93 minutes in. It looked like we was going to lose and then we scored. And it was a 1-1 match. Went to penalties and England won on 4-3 on penalties was a cracking match to watch and it was a very nerve wracking one. I have to admit I did fape a lot during that match watching it. It really did put me on edge. Another one that's happening in the UK are UK prisoners. They are now allowed to fape in prisons. Now as you can all remember, a couple, about a year ago or so, the smoking ban came into effect where you couldn't smoke indoors. So obviously that caused a lot of problems for the Ministry of Justice allowing prisoners to smoke. And because they weren't allowing to smoke, it caused a lot of havoc in the prisons, causing riots assaults on guards, violence among his inmates. So they had to do something. I mean, prisoners were even trying to smoke nicotine batteries. That's how desperate they were. But the programs had a big success allowing prisoners to vape in prison with nearly 33,000 inmates buying e right now in prison. And 
a quote from a person that was in prison, who now isn't, is I could not have done my two-month sentence without my vape. So that's really good to see that vaping is helping people. I mean, it will never... It's not a short-term thing, vaping. Not for some people anyway. Some people have it as a hobby. Some people do it for stress. I mean, I do it because I love the flavours you get. I mean, there is limits to what the prisoners are allowed to buy. They're limited to a number of refill cartridges per week. And um, prisoners have said the refills have become prison currency, much as cigarettes have. So, it's good and bad, I suppose. It could be better, could be worse, but you can't complain. Also, lead guitar, guitarist Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin has been shocked by an eight-year-old girl in Japan for nailing the Led Zeppelin drum part. The eight-year-old girl is taking the internet by storm by nailing one of the toughest drum parts in the Led Zeppelin category. She's even won praise by Robert Plant. There is a YouTube video of her playing, but I haven't got the link to that. And... It seems like he's really impressed with her. I will leave the... There will be a picture of the statement on screen. So you can have a quick read of it if you'd like. But that's about it. Um, let's have another drink. So if you liked what you saw, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like what you saw. If there's anything you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment down below. It's not too much to ask, maybe a cheeky subscription. And as always, keep it simple.